What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Mexico. So to pick up where we left off, we've got a frustrating battle against the Prussians up here in Upper Canada, causing them to rout towards one of my cities, which they will presumably immediately capture. I um, have rerouted one of my armies from the coast to head towards them, but it will be a couple of turns before they can be within range. And I lost my general in this, in this army. Uh, it is now commanded by Bruno Hervas. However, this being Empire Total War and generals are a bit more freely come across. I'm not super attached to them. So I don't I never mind losing a general in this game. And this army is continuing up to the border of Moose Factory. And the main gains have been in Europe, where we have successfully captured Stockholm and defended our gains in Norway and have begun the mission of chasing the Swedes off our territory. Starting off with a mass exodus of Swedish gentlemen and Russian gentlemen as we're going to dismantle the university. Yeah, Uppsala is being destroyed. Cool, and we've also got a bit of breathing space here in Russia thanks to the... Um, well, thanks to the Russians buggering off and giving us a bit of space. Señor, a la orden, señor. I don't want to move them because it will provoke me to attack this Russian army. I very much want to let them carry on being them and let my garrison keep gaining in strength and probably... I probably want to do something like this anyway so I can move this army out to also start doing military ops and still having a strong garrison in the city itself. Now those have been dealt with. But yes, let's hit end turn and let's carry on. So the idea will be to invade Sweden and what well, invade Finland, sorry, and knock them out of the game. And then push on to Moscow. And also finish off the the native North American regions, finally. And then overall, the conquest of regions which I can actually conquer is complete. Because I'm allied with Britain. Like, already, there's no point in me going to war with Britain at the minute. I may as well just let, let them live. Let them carry on doing what they're doing. See, now this is interesting. The Austrians have, for a very long time, been... Gathering their forces. Now it seems like they're actually beginning to act on it. Question is, where will they go? My answer to that is probably straight at me. Oh, thank God. Oh, don't. Oh, don't take me. You know what? Let's try it. <laughs> Let's give it a go. I've got a and one unit of infantry. Probably going to be a loss, but there's a chance because those mortars are damn good. So I want to deploy all the way back here to maximise the number of shots I get. And just let them come. So let's... So the AI Mortis is usually super accurate. That's probably not going to be for me, but let's pound them with quicklime. They've all missed. They've done a terrible job. Okay, here comes their army. To be honest, the native bows I need to worry about the most. Be honest, I'm tempted to just fast forward and just watch what happens rather than actually try to. Okay, yeah, we're being picked apart by bows. The cavalry have come in, so let's form square. We're now within range of quicklime. We're there we're under the. They're under the, uh, they're close enough that I can't actually hit them with quicklime now. So we might be able to kill the general. No! So close! Oh, if I wasn't triple speeding it, I'd, I'd have been able to have manually got them to nothing in that region defending it. 
and I will happily take him out. But yes, that just goes to show, this is why in all of my campaigns I'm... No, absolutely not. I am meticulous in making sure that before I launch an attack I've positioned all my forces such that they can't loop around and do really annoying things like that. But these things happen. And we will destroy them. <laughs> it's just going to happen. Ooh. If that army inside the port wants to leave, I will let it. I don't know why you're going back to the school. It's not going to be a school. I'm literally going to burn it down. Yes, right. You better run. There is a port in this region that has not yet Burning. been developed. Yeah, why not? Chase them down. Victoria! No puedo hacer eso. Then you. Unfortunately, I don't think they're going to do much in the way of damaging and destroying my stuff. <gasps> Prussia and Austria! They're finally at war! Finally at war! I wonder if they wanted peace. Well, it's not going to happen, see? Trade games. Region lost. Michigan Territory. Temporarily. Good. So then let's move you out. Garrison force in. Like so. Or do I just straight out engage them and push them back? I think I do. At some point I'm going to have to just fight the Russians. So why not now? Let's fight. Because yes, part of actually landing in Russian territory was to invade Moscow. So I'd very much that and to, to be honest it's almost a perfect storm because right now i'm attacking moscow in both my french and my mexican campaigns or at least i'm in that sort of mindset so let's deploy my artillery wide very wide Let's have my solid core. Let's have my these batches of quick climb. Let's have a unit on the left to advance and a unit on the right to advance. Very nicely quick climb their own quick climb their own cavalry.
So they've hit my fusiliers and they've got some line infantry in. I'm engaging them. Regiment of foot. The Good, the cavalry has been destroyed. Let's take my infantry sans general. Let's pull them back into line. Is that one of my guns? It is one of my gun crews. Then Mon General. Straighten the line out. Good. So this is a little no, redoubt of grenadiers and line infantry. So they're all going to fire onto this unit of militia. More than happy to keep doing that at that range. Well, let's be honest, let's show them what the true Mexican soldier can do. Let's advance these guys up into position. Change position. Appreciating they're about to get flanked. Oh, they're bowler hats from the back. For the bank managers. Hello. These marines just ran. Foot guard just ran out and got annihilated. Oh no, it wasn't annihilated, it was shot in the back. Straight into the unit of plunder by shotgunners. Straight into the fuse layers before they get to deploy stakes. Get ready to support your general. Where's the general gone? Oh, he's legged it. Pull my general back. Let's halt fire all my artillery. Fusiliers be fusiliers. That's right, commit to the fight, you scurvy dogs. Capture that flag. Take their banner. I want it. We'll see what happens to this guy. There you go. There he is. Let's 
defender there. Nice solid win. Cannonball took off his legs, so, so he laid down his arm. I see. Yeah, not a bad win. Pushed them back. Good casualties onto them. We don't even need to eventually hit them here at this port. Same here, really can't let them sit there at Kronstadt. Upper Canada has been built. It's brand new. Let's upgrade the fishery. Can't upgrade you yet. Gunnery school up to Ron's board. Same here with Copenhagen. Good. Let's build a happiness building. Plenish. Plenish. Chase down that army. To be honest, could you leave yet? Move back to Stockholm. I'll come back to you and fix you, Norway. Let's group these together for now. I'm not quite sure what to do with them. They're probably going to move on Finland, but I'd like to have a look at what they can... what they've got. So if we sail around the army at Visby... Yeah, big old army. One of them is fairly elite, but that's all they've got left. Let's get back to blockading Rostock, because I'm hoping that stops this army from getting onto a boat. Cool, let's hit and turn. The army is getting into position. So Great Britain's been doing that for about 40 years now, the ceremonial transit of the Irish Sea with one of their armies. Okay, so this is the, the interesting bit to see play out. Austria versus Prussia. A huge front. All of the Austrian forces are rebalancing towards the east. See, Prussia? That's what you get. Don't be dicks. Because look what's happened. Or at the very least, don't declare war. Don't, well, presumably the Prussians didn't declare on them. But if they did, you'd like to think they'd have prepared their forces so that immediately they could break out and smash straight into some of their territories like Vienna or a bit of a breakout to gain some territory. But we'll see. I wonder if the armies in in, in um, Denmark will pull back. Because I know they want to make peace, but I'm absolutely not going to let them. At least, not until I get Michigan Territory back. It's the more forces are joining the theatre. This is classic Russia. They swamp you. There's not even a university there anymore. Go away. So why is this 50-50? Why is it 50-50? They've got two and one mortar and a militia. And it's 50-50, allegedly? I don't get it. I really don't. Well, there's nothing to get. It's this game. What it does. So let's get ready, because I'm not going to sit back. Effectively, my artillery is going to stay limbered. Zero four in this. only get one. Infanteria de 
Yeah, these are my mercenaries against the Farcom citizenry, so that should go well. Zero thought, zero strategy, but you don't need to have all this strategy when you just outnumber them so comprehensively. <laughs> this was toss of a coin, guys. No one could have seen this coming. <laughs> but you know, it's all part of the quirks of the game we love. So the region is ours, and they're still trying to hoover up books. No. Ooh. No. If my garrison was a bit stronger, I would have done it. And I know my reinforcements were coming in, but it just didn't, it just didn't sit right to me. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. See now. Select the type of port to construct. Let's move you up. Uh, just keep just keep chopping them up let's destroy these church schools for a start expert purser enemy raid ooh you can't the range of my troops sad state of affairs for you my son but let's continue them advancing up this road. Still replenishing. Let's move you up. Just recruit something cheap. cheap. Let's get some two sloops. They'll transport the fleet across the sea. See, now will you let me? Now will you give me some freedom? No, no, minus five. You're getting all such good stuff. Yeah, lots of good stuff in this battle. Let's repair Estonia. I'll repair the governor's barracks, I'll move them on to... Well, actually, how far am I away from the objectives? Five more regions, so I can successfully take Courland. To be honest, I'm getting a bit swamped by the Russians, so I don't know if I'll be able to take Moscow before the game runs out. So let's take you guys, and let's hit this raiding arm, uh, army at Luga. Just keep pushing the rush. Just keep on pushing them back. <laughs> but, um, anyway, yes, let's. Maybe you'd be a bit smarter about this one because they are more of a formed army. Let's do that. It's probably actually you're probably probably there. Find round shots, move my bath mortar up. Let's fire a quick line. Let's put some line infantry guards on this flank to protect my guns. Let's have a solid core of infantry. And the grenadiers and the fusiliers on the right to capture this small hill. Let's group my cavalry on the left, general in the centre. Smash in. Okay, I'm going to start with these guys first then. Let's move 
gem one over here. Avoid fire, man. Before they leave your field of fire. I have grenadiers at the back to prevent me from swamping them. Hello. Regiment of horse, they've been shot down. Regiment of dragoons, they too have been shot down. I suppose we're just shooting the cavalry to bits. batteries. Let's just fire round shot because right now I really don't think you're going to be in the mix for long enough. So let's move. Move these three out. Tree before you get killed. We just hopefully get break the enemy formation. Hopefully, so you need very limited artillery support. They'll probably break that unit of grenadiers. They are alone after all. Everyone else is firing to that regiment foot. Preferably kill their general. There he is. There's the swine. Infantry. I'm going to cheer up some of my infantry guards. Yeah, I am. It's worth all doing though, because we're just cheering them up in all directions.
good. Not many grenadiers and stuff left. And my men are soon regrouping to hit the line infantry. Where's Mon General? He's right at the back. There's only a couple of grenadiers left, so done quite well. Here. Got him. Let's move them up, ready to hit this unit of grenadiers. To be honest, we might run this grenadier unit past. Run this cavalry unit past because I'm going to assume. Yeah, these guys have knocked out their units, so they'll be they'll probably be in a better position to hit these grenadiers, and these guys can chase down other units who are close to routing. I think there's everyone now. It is everyone. Want to continue this because you've got a good amount of infantry, so let's halt infantry fire. Put my cavalry to work. As my artillery manages to kill my own men. Doing a very good job mopping up these grenadier guards. There's three of them left, there's only two here. So where's the other one? I don't know, there must have been two of them running on top of each other. And that's them at destroyed. Very good ratio here, that's what I'm talking about. An army is utterly destroyed and we have secured our craft workshops. And let's get replenishing. Good, good, good. Let's fix the commercial base and get my um, navy back in port. Hmm. No, they're not ready to ferry things around just yet. What if I can move you out? Yeah, they're very grumpy. If I move them in... Oh, they're still very grumpy. You can stay in there for now, as you need to replenish anyway. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.